So we're getting some very interesting and unique products sent in for review lately, but I think this one takes the trophy for the most unique. This is the Marvo KG934, otherwise known as the Big Bang S1. Yes, I have a Big Bang keyboard, an Astro headset, a Pulsar. I basically have an entire solar system here. Astro Worlds, my planet, my burger. <laughs> It's a full RGB mechanical keyboard with a lot of features that I haven't seen on many others in its price range. No, I'm not sucking off the manufacturer just to suck off the fucking manufacturer. This is not what that is. I wasn't paid. So be sure to stay with me as we talk about one of the, in my opinion, best bang for your buck mechanical keyboards on the market right now. If you do go on to enjoy this video and you would like to help me get to 10,000 subscribers, be sure to Hit the sub sub dive button down, bu down below. I can't speak. Figuring out where to begin with this device is kind of a daunting task because there's, there's way too much to talk about here. But let's start off with the price. So this is $15 less than my HyperX LA FPS Pro at $60. You're definitely getting every last bit of your money's worth for 60 bucks. It's a mechanical keyboard that comes with not Cherry MX switches, they're Outimu Brit bridges switches they feel the exact same as the cherry mx switches i had on my hyperx alloy they're also rated for 50 million presses and they are topped off with these nice ptb actually not ptb they're just double shot injected keycaps i don't i don't really know the difference but these keycaps aren't glossy uh the issue with the alloy was they had glossy keycaps so uh it picked up a bunch of grease and got real gross looking not with these ones you're also getting full rgb backlighting with your keys and these little rgb side pieces right here now, there is so much to talk about with the RGB. I'm going to give that its own segment uh, on the timeline of this video, so if you, you, you look around, you'll, you'll see it somewhere. There's also a software to customize said RGB in, and in that software, there's a macro editor, which we'll talk about all that later. And that's also somewhere on the fucking time. I don't know, man. Just, just watch it as you will. Now, it is mainly constructed out of plastic, but it has this steel, or not steel, aluminum frame that makes it extremely sturdy, so there's little to no flex in this thing. In fact, it flexes just about as much as my alloy did. But you know, it doesn't weigh as much as a Neutron Star. Now the keycaps do move around a little bit, which some people are kind of uptight about, and I, I understand that, it's just... Oh, the, pe the things people get annoyed about with these keyboards kind of fucking irritates me. I don't really find it to be too much of an issue, but some people might, so I just thought I'd throw it out there. This board is, weirdly, IPX7 waterproof, or water resistant, I should say. And that rating says it should be able to sustain itself under one meter of water for 30 minutes. And fuck you if you think I'm testing that. Now, I did say this is a TKL design, right? So that means you don't have, like, your number pad. You have your number pad. It's actually right where the page up, page down, and home button would be, but instead of having those keys there, there's a number pad and you'd have to press FN or the function key in order to press like delete or home or page up, page down, which I don't really mind too much, although the delete key I did kind of enjoy having just the delete key right there, but I find that to be quite unique. Um, I didn't really use any of those other keys either way, so. Now we'll have a sound test. Tiger! Tiger! Man, get the fuck out of here, nigga! Fucking cat, man. Again, if you scroll through this timeline, you'll see somewhere there's a sound test. It is a little bit loud, especially the spacebar. I don't really know why. I think it's more of the, the keycaps themselves rather than the switches. But it sounds just as loud, if not a little bit louder, than my alloy. And lastly, going over the basic features, full anti-ghosting, so no issues with double presses or simultaneous presses or any of that shit that we've had fixed for years. Alright, now let's go over the unboxing experience. It's short, but it's actually very, very sweet. So shipping is free for these devices, anything over $50 on the website, I believe, which is m the majority of the devices, I think, or at least half. And even though it came from overseas, it came in, get this, you're not gonna fucking believe this, six days. Most of my USPS packages come in eight. Thank you, Unixpress. Very, I hate that meme so much, why am I still using it? It was very clear they wanted to keep these keyboards safe because it came with two different layers of foam on top of it, and the box is kinda... rugged. And by rugged, I mean I, I don't think even if it was tossed around in shipping, it could have been broken. It also comes with a little tiny instruction manual that has a written link to the website to get your drivers, and it comes with a little key removal tool. And yes, I will be leaving a link to the drivers down below, as well as the keyboard. Now, unlike the FPS Pro, this doesn't really come with uh, a cable in the box because it's built in and it's like a foot shorter than the FPS Pro. It's like one and a half meters, which is about five and a half feet, I believe. Feels a bit short, but 
it's like everything in my life i don't know if you need a, a, a length longer than that but it, it's fine i guess it is a braided cable as well so you don't have to really worry about anything oh yeah and it's usb 2.0 which with these devices isn't the biggest deal i don't i don't really even know the the, the significant differences between 2.0 and 3.0 all i know is that everyone wants usb 3.0 on their devices but what the fuck's the difference i would have liked to see a removable cable on this keyboard but when you get to the keyboards that are 50 60 70 dollars there is no perfect keyboard and I think I've come to accept that. I mean, there might be a few out there, but I don't know. Send them to me or link them down below. Now, my last car salesman trick that I have up my sleeve. One year warranty. 30 day return. It doesn't seem like you can buy an extended warranty, which I don't really mind, to be honest. I don't really think this thing. I mean, key, it's a fucking keyboard, dude. It's a goddamn keyboard. Keyboards literally last centuries. All right. Now, let's take a look at the software I was talking about. So it has a very MSI afterburner aesthetic to it but i think that's kind of all gaming softwares nowadays it, it doesn't matter but the software itself is actually quite nice especially for a company that isn't exactly mainstream no disrespect to you marvo you have three profiles available you can also change the layout of any of your 89 keys and you have a macro editor that's that's the extent of what i'm going to say about that and a plethora of rgb modes that you can also customize such as fixed on color loop rainbow wheel game mode and an infinite amount of others you can also turn off rgb altogether if you don't have a goddamn soul you may have noticed or maybe you didn't because you can't actually see it gotta get better at writing these things the software doesn't actually change the rgb for these little side pieces right here it only changes the backlighting which is a perfect segue into the most the rgb segment of the video Let's get this over with. When it comes to the RGB on this goddamn keyboard, it never ends. It's just, it goes on and on. There's so many things you can do with it. All right, ready? Go. Change the RGB on the sides. You press function and the right bracket key to cycle through the predetermined preset options. Off, rainbow, red, green, dark blue. I don't know. I'm colorblind. It might be something else. Yellow, purple, light blue, light pink, static RGB, and color cycle. You can also change the brightness of your key's backlighting by pressing the function and the up or down arrow keys, and you can change the speed of your RGB animations by pressing the function and the right or left arrow keys. To change the RGB animation, press function and F9, and to change the color of said animation, press function and then plus or minus. It's also worth noting that the num lock, windows lock, and caps lock keys all turn purple when in use. But to use num lock and windows lock, you're going to have to hold the function button first. There's also some gamer modes, which are accessible via FN and 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. They're an assortment of random WASD RGB settings, okay? Is that everything? Thank God. Lastly, you have an assortment of Windows media keys, but those are pretty standard in the industry today with mechanical keyboards, so I'm not even really going to go over those. So I suppose that can take us to our last piece of the puzzle, the sound test. Sit back, relax, forget all the RGB bullshit I just put you through, and enjoy. At the end of the day, Marvo has created a keyboard that, in my opinion, especially for the price, competes with most mainstream boards that manufacturers are putting out today. I'd 100% recommend this to someone who's searching for a keyboard in this price range, and if you'd like to see me compare it to another keyboard in this price range, wink wink the Allo FPS Pro, uh, be sure to let me know with a comment down below, and if you'd like to see me have other Marvo devices or and anything any other device just give me suggestions please i really have to give a huge thank you to marvel for sending this keyboard out and i actually do plan on using this as my personal keyboard for quite some time although i do plan on having a few other peripherals and on, on the channel in the future i really appreciate everyone for coming out to watch the video and real quick before we end this video let's give a huge shout out to our members again we got the boys astruco and imz with the pc master race tier 
the ballin boy jg and crazy b with the console tier during the making of this video we got another member waterless who is the absolute biggest baller in my live streams i thank you so much waterless you're an amazing amazing guy back to me four or five days ago I, I don't fucking remember and i have to thank all of you guys you guys are genuinely helping out the channel i cannot thank you guys enough and if you'd like to support the channel i have a i think it's down there right right there i don't know i'm kind of brain dead if you did go on to enjoy this video though please be sure to drop it a like subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you guys on my next keyboard review peace